Hi everyone, so today I am going to talk about um, some of my experiences with ayahuasca, psilocybin, um, basically journeys uh, into the spiritual realm by using natural medicines um, that everyone has access to and we're uncovering a lot of information about them thanks to universities like John Hopkins and many others that are starting to recognize these uh, medicines as very helpful uh, life transformational um, and so that's just it's an amazing time to be alive so that being said um, uh, I'm not going to go right into my experiences specifically um, I'm really just going to start with how I started this journey I was already interested in um, these medicines many many years ago probably around 2010 2011 right around that transitional period that I think we're all familiar with um, you know where there was supposed to be this shift in consciousness happening which I feel like definitely happened um, I hear a lot of people saying that they had a shift happening around that time so anyway um, but I never actually did anything uh, I was just aware of it and I researched it and stuff it wasn't until 2019 or something like that um, because I was informed by my father while I was teaching essential oil classes in San Diego and Los Angeles living in um, Arizona that my mom wasn't well she was having some heart issues onset of dementia um, blood pressure issues, um, low blood pressure, which made it harder to find more information about that. Most people are dealing with high blood pressure. And so I decided to pack all my things up, change my life around, take my life and bring it back to Florida. Um, and so I committed myself as a caretaker for my mom for almost three years. And while I was doing that, I didn't realize in the very beginning um, that my family had mold poisoning in their apartment. And so uh, it started to really wreak havoc on my own body without, like again, I had no idea that I was exposed to that. And uh, it wasn't until six months after I'd moved in that I realized that there was mold on my leather. Now, before that time, I was starting to get hives, psoriasis. Um, I even got um, a couple cuts on my body that weren't healing and I realized I had staph infection, which is like the worst super bug you could possibly get. Um, so normally my body had never experienced anything like this before in the past i always felt like superman nothing could ever hurt me because i was eating so well and taking care of myself but it doesn't matter how well you take care of yourself if you're exposed to something like mold and you're not leaving that environment or changing that environment um you know it, it, it's still going to um it, it's going to hinder your body's ability to heal so once you figure out and this is you know a tip for me to you guys uh, once you figure out the root cause of an illness um, that's what you have to therein lies the solution that's what you have to focus on get rid of that and then you can start the healing factor right um, so anyway once I did, we figured this out um, we moved out of that apartment and then my body started to heal I never took a synthetic drug never took antibiotics I'm not telling you guys not to do that but in my research and when I was going into groups specifically about these illnesses and infections I noticed a lot of people were taking antibiotics and it would go away and then it would come back chronic and I didn't want to be one of those people so I wanted to heal naturally and I did um, I use oils I use a proper diet and lifestyle choices like of course I mo removed myself from the cause and uh, my body began to heal itself and I never experienced any of that again um, back to the medicine um, I have to give thanks I have to tell you guys desperation is one of the greatest gifts the universe can give you when you're lying there and you have all these sores on your body and you're like you know on the, on the first couple months you're like I can beat this on the third and fourth month you're like what's going on and on the sixth month that's a half a year you start to really consider maybe this is like a permanent situation and um, and so I think around that time I mean I had figured out was mold um, I was I, I was like digging very deep in these Facebook groups and I was trying to find out had anyone healed themselves naturally and I someone I had come across said that they had reversed um, uh, staph infection by using Cambo. If you guys aren't familiar with Cambo, check it out. And I'm not, um, I'm not asking you guys to take natural medicines. I'm not uh, promoting drugs or anything. This is just my personal testimonial, okay? My personal experience. But anyway, um, so I, I, coincidentally, I don't think so. I don't believe in coincidences. This is also a, a testimonial of spiritual growth and upgrade and um, divine synchronicities, you guys. So two weeks prior to learning about Cambo through Facebook, um, I, I was teaching at um, essential oil classes at a local spiritual uh, community, like a facility that I was uh, working at. 
And there was a woman that came in that was working with the medicines like Cambo. She was connected to a community that did ayahuasca and bufo and that kind of thing. And I took her number, but I never really, I, I would have never called or texted her, although I was interested, it just never really computed or stuck in my mind until I was desperate. And as soon as I saw the word Cambo, I'm like, wait, just two weeks ago, I met this lady who introduced me to Cambo or the idea of doing Cambo. And I, call, I contacted her right away. Oh, right away, I texted her. And uh, it was like $300 for a three-day um, uh, journey. And, uh, or if you can call it that, it's, I guess you would call it a session. And I did it, uh, like she took me the next day, she was amazing, her name's Natalie. And uh, I did it uh, on my hand and I did it on my shoulders. If you guys know what Cambo is, basically um, it's uh, a resin that comes from a frog. And I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but this is stuff that they do in the rainforest and it is really incredible, so just look it up. I'm not telling you again to do this, but apparently there's something about peptides and it helps your body heal itself. It's more like a natural antibiotic or vaccine type thing. Um, I wanna be really careful with what I say. That's the annoying part about FDA compliance. Probably should change my verbiage around, around that, but basically the whole point is in tandem with moving out of that apartment, my body was able to heal itself a lot faster. I was able to heal for the most part within my house, even though there was mold in there because I did the cambo. So um, after the cambo, it took about a week or two that my body started to heal itself and then we got rid of the mold by moving out of the apartment and then my body was healed. The interesting part about this, you guys, is that by doing that, it plugged me into a community of shamans and facilitators for these medicines because she invited me to join her on you know different ceremonies regarding bufo and ayahuasca. So there's so many other divine synchronicities that I'm not even putting in here, but I'll probably write a blog about it. It's just incredible. If you are interested in knowing more about your spiritual growth or developing spiritually or finding enlightenment and more peace and love in your life, ask for it. Because your spirit guides, like they're everywhere. They're just waiting for you to ask for help. And then these things start to drop in your lap and then it's your responsibility to take advantage of it. But there's a law of attraction. There's a law of action too. These are just laws of the universe. If you don't take action, not a lot's gonna happen. So I took action, but the universe had to light a fire under my butt to make it happen. It's like, wasn't gonna do it, even though the universe dropped down the opportunity, and then all of a sudden I had no choice, quote unquote, and then I just did it. Um, and it changed my life because I am so much more in a better place than I ever have been in my whole life, physically, but also mentally and spiritually, because I feel like I was always at peak health when it came to physical. I was always in nutrition and detox and that kind of thing. If you go back through my videos on YouTube, you'll notice I focus a lot on that, but I never really focused as much on meditation. And that's another thing. I went to Vipassana prior to all this stuff happening to me, probably a few months prior. I believe Vipassana is a 10 day meditation retreat. You meditate for 10 hours a day. You have the vow of silence. You can't talk to anyone the entire time. Um, you eat what they give you, which was, I believe, vegan organic food. Um, they take away all your digital devices. You basically live like a monk. It's a very extreme situation. You don't have to continue that lifestyle for the rest of your life, but it, it really puts you into a place where you're able to meditate and just experience states of bliss. Whereas prior to that, I wasn't able to do that. So it does take 21 days statistically to instill values, principles, and habits in the mind so it becomes habitual. Even a 10 day period of time is very, very helpful. So um, I believe that meditation retreat did something to change the trajectory of my overall life from a spiritual perspective. Because again, it happened prior to me experiencing the mold poisoning and the bufo and the ceremonies and everything that got me to a place that I'm at now. And I want to mention this to you guys, and I probably should have put this in the very beginning just to capture people's attention, but I went from $35,000 a year to over six figures within a six to seven, eight month period of time. Around this time, I was not only developing myself spiritually, I was also increasing my frequency from a scarcity mentality to a state of abundance. So I was changing my whole relationship to money as well. And that totally transformed my life. So physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially, my whole life changed within about a year. Um, so if you're in a situation right now where you feel like, oh God, you know, everything just sucks, you know, uh, wherever you're in right now, don't worry. I promise you that there's a reason for it. If you just kind of like pay attention and ask for help and then have the wisdom to really follow through and just align completely with your higher mind, if that makes sense meditate more, listen to signs, pay attention to them, 
do the necessary steps through neuroplasticity. If you're not familiar with that, look up Joe Dispenza. Do the necessary steps through neuroplasticity to change your thinking. Your brain is your hard drive. The mind is the interface and the soul connects everything. So if this is all jumbled with trauma and guilt and shame and blocks, it's gonna keep you from succeeding the best life that you came here to live. Your true purpose could be blocked and hindered, but it's your responsibility to alleviate all of that. And there's techniques that you can do, but you have to dig deeper to figure this stuff out. Um, I'm here to help, you know, if you guys have any questions. I typically focus on detox, stress management, um, nutrition, and essential oils. Um, but I'm getting much more into spirituality and teaching about that too, because I feel like I have such a huge, like, um, story to tell that is so powerful that I plan to do more of it. But anyway, I love you guys. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to talk more about my personal experiences with Bufo, Ayahuasca, Psilocybin, because they are so powerful. <laughs> beyond powerful um and they changed my life all right i love you guys have a beautiful day and i look forward to talking to you soon okay bye